Good day, friends. It is me, HL Mod Tech, and I am back with another project. Friends, today we're going to hack my garage, so let's get cracking. Friends, I have got this awesome range hood, and I have got the idea of attaching it above my bench. That way I can still do open laser projects, and I can vent the fumes out so it makes it a lot better for you guys watching, and for me being in the garage as I do it. Now friends, the problem is this is a 6 inch adapter, and I want to go 4 inches because I'm using dryer vents. Friends, we're going to build an adapter in Tinkercad, so let's get Kraken. Friends, I have already completed this design, but let me show you how I made it. If you've never used Tinkercad before, I've got a ton of beginner tutorials. I'll make sure there's a link up above. Let me show you quickly how this works. So this is my finished adapter. You can see it's got the six inch hole. I did that with metric. It's got a couple of cones that are cut out, and then it's got the top where it attaches to the four inch. When you're working with Tinkercad, if you ever want to disassemble a project, what I recommend is Control D, which is duplicate and then you can ungroup it to show how it's made. So the first ungroup gave us the bottom, the middle, and the top. Real quickly, this top is a tube. When you do a 47 radius, that fits a four inch dryer vent. I did a wall thickness of two. It's that simple, I'm gonna hide it. Now this one is a little fancier. We have to ungroup it so you can see it, and it is two cones. The first cone has a bottom radius of 80 and a top radius, just like we saw a minute ago, of 47. The second one is the hole. Notice I went 45 and 78. All I did was subtract two. When you take those two shapes, notice it says two and group, you can see that it cuts out perfectly. I did a guess for a height of 30. That worked out absolutely perfect. I'll show you the print in a minute. Then I'm gonna hide this, friends, and this is the final one once again, a tube of 80. I did a wall thickness of 1.5 and sides of 64. That's all it took. Now I do wanna show you this. If we put the work plane right here, when I brought out these cones, this is where I found the cones, I typed the numbers. Remember this one was 47, this one was 80, and then I made that height of 30. If you stretch the handles, you break that. Notice that landed right on top, it's perfect. I did bump up the sides so that it was smooth. Then all I did was Control D, took the second one, made it a hole. Remember that number was 45 and 78 and bam that's how easy it was to create those shapes let me show you how to align shift click two pieces chosen i'm going to do a line make the purple one the boss bing bing they're aligned and grouped that's how the part was created you'll notice those two are not aligned it was the same thing where we did a line i made the orange one the boss center and center now remember that one's junk so i'm going to throw it out and when I do unhide, bam, it's all back. I did one last group and it was ready for 3D printing. That's how cool, that's how amazing Tinkercad is. Friends, when you're done building, exporting is this simple. I exported everything as an STL. I am naming this Vent Range Hood Final. Here you can see I have opened Kira. I'm gonna print this on my A8 Plus. Wait for a moment and there is the project. I always use the settings of 0.3 millimeters, 0.8 walls, 1.2 on the top bottom thickness. I have my temperature set at 200, the bed at 60, and the print speed 75. I always like to do a skirt. I do five lines. They are 10 millimeters apart, and that gives me a good clue of how the print is going to turn out. As you can see, once I exported to the SC card, this took four hours to print. Now, friends, before I printed the large version, I printed small versions to make sure I had my measurements right. You do want to do that. I went two millimeters high, got everything lined up, and when I was finally happy, bam, then we got the finished product. Friends, four hours later, here is our adapter. Let's take it upstairs and see how it fits. All right, friends, so we are out in the garage. You can see here, this is one of the two millimeter versions that I printed so that I could test it. And friends, here comes our real one. Friends, as you can see, I got a nice snug fit. Now I'm gonna put some tape around it to hold it in place. Can't go wrong with a little Gorilla Tape. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, bingo. We have adapted our vent so it's ready for a four inch connector. All right friends, so up here of course I am attaching with a real clamp. 
Uh, that is only two millimeters thick though, so you do want to make sure you pay attention and don't tighten it down too much and break your adapter. Alrighty friends, notice the bench is clear and bam, there it is, strung up above, tied up there with rope. You are 100% correct, it is silly. Check it out though, it does have a remote control to power it on and power it off. Uh, fans are real easy to light up. It also has hand gestures, which is pretty darn sweet, because as you can tell, I can barely reach it. All right, friends, so there you have it, a fun project. I now have got a vent above my main desk. As my dad would say, it is definitely not built according to Hoyle, but it is working, and I will keep messing with it. If I come up with better choices, I will let you know. Once again, adapting that vent with Tinkercad was absolutely amazing, and now I have got a vented workspace. Friends, of course, if you are interested in the range hood, I will make sure there is a link in the description, and if you enjoyed this video, please give it a like. Please also hit that share button so more people can learn about HL Mod Tech. Of course, if you got a question, comment, or suggestion, add it down below. And if you haven't subscribed yet, what are you waiting for? Smash that subscribe button. And last but not least, hit that notification bell if you want to be the first to know when there's a brand new video from me, HL Mod Tech. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.